Over the last few years, if you were to walk into a computing retailer, you probably would have noticed that a good 80% of their computers there are laptops. And that's certainly no accident. The world is turning ever increasingly more mobile and with at least the team I'm on, the only time we ever really talk about uh, desktop PCs is with gaming. The thing is though, there's still a lot of people out there who are interested in a desktop PC for the home. In fact, recently uh, there was a bump in the sale of desktop PCs off the back of Windows 7 and to support. So with that in mind, we've spent a lot of time in the past talking about what makes a modern Windows laptop. So what does a modern Windows desktop look like? Well, it looks like that. Today we are looking at the premium all-in-one PC starting right here. This is the Lenovo Idea Center A540. Now, just looking at it, you can tell this is a premium build that you can actually get this with a more everyday spec should you wish. The one we have right here is higher end in performance, that much of course you'd expect from a premium all-in-one PC. It's got a desktop class, 9th generation i7 processor, it's got SSD storage, it's really what we look for when it comes to modern day PCs. But as a premium looking design, this ticks a lot of boxes. So you can see straight away, it makes an attractive addition to say a home office. It's got this base here, uh, which is where all of your computing power is, as well as JBL speakers for high quality sound. And going up, you have this gorgeous looking metallic or really copper looking uh, stand which curves around giving you the impression that your screen is floating. The screen itself is full HD with a 93% screen to body ratio and it's much slimmer than all in ones that we've seen in the past because all the tech is in that base. You've also got all your ports across the back including USB 3 and HDMI as well as a webcam which you have built in and you can also uh, keep it hidden just to maintain privacy if you so wish. So pretty good. It's sleek, it's clean, it's a good example of what a premium all-in-one looks like in 2020. Though, frankly, that's the standard stuff because this beauty has a party trick in its base. Assuming you have a phone that supports it, this all-in-one has a wireless charger so you can just place your phone down and get on with whatever work it is that you're doing. What's cooler is this links up beautifully with what's happening right now in Windows 10. In the last year or so, Windows introduced an app called Your Phone, which you can link up with an Android phone. All you do is have the Your Phone application downloaded on your phone, which will also give you the option to install the Microsoft Launcher if you so wish. You then open up the Your Phone app on your PC. Follow the setup instructions, and once you're finished, you'll be able to sync up your text, photos, notifications, even make phone calls on there. It's really, really cool, because it just means you can leave your phone on its base, and it doesn't detract you from the screen and what's actually happening on your PC. And if it rings, you can answer it, or you can still hang up if you want to. So that's that. That is a premium all-in-one PC. Thing is though, the concept of the all-in-one is still very much the same as what we've been used to over the years. Okay, sure, we've got slimmer designs, floating screens, and cool additions like the wireless charger, but it's more evolution than revolution. So what else can be done with the all-in-one? That, really. This beast is the Lenovo A940. This came out in 2019, and along with the Surface Studio is true innovation when it comes to what an all-in-one PC can be. When we compare it to its little sibling, the A540, there are design similarities, sure. This base, although much larger, is of course where all our PC components are. We've got quality audio as well, in this case, our Dolby Atmos sound system built right into it. There is this slim screen with the webcam at the top which supports Windows Hello facial recognition and it has a privacy shutter and we have the wireless charging pad for our phone. What makes this different though is the ways in which you can interact with it. This is a 27 inch 4K display with touchscreen and pen support and yeah it does come with a pen. Where it really changes is the ability to tilt the screen. So it's got a 25 degree hinge which when you bring it down lets you treat the screen like a canvas and you can lean right into it. You also have this dial which plugs into the side here, uh, giving you an additional controls to scroll through options, something that's compatible on professional uh, design suites such as the Adobe suite for instance. Something like this is of course a great benefit for creatives, though it's also extremely handy for those looking for a productivity use. 
A great app to use to show this is Whiteboard. This is a free app you can download from the Microsoft Store, though devices sold with the latest version of Windows 10 will start to have this pre-installed as it now features in the ink menu on the bottom right hand corner of the screen if you have a touch enabled device. What makes Whiteboard excellent is that it, well, it's a brilliant place firstly to store your ideas and have planning sessions. You can then sync that with your co-workers or friends and share ideas together. On a screen this big, you can really have true freedom to note down exactly what it is that you need. You can even put in digital rulers and use a feature like Ink to Shape to make it super easy to draw out diagrams and present your notes. When you're finished, you can just raise up this screen, you can pop your keyboard and mouse back into place and you've just got a nice tidy setup right there, easy as that. So if things go, the state of premium all-in-ones in 2020 is pretty damn impressive. Whether that's an all-in-one that's more appropriate for a home office or something that goes further in pushing the boundaries of what an all-in-one can be. That's all for now. Let us know what you think of these PCs in the comments. And of course, as always, please do subscribe to see more on all things Microsoft.